Okay, take a look at this. It's really scary. At least it scared me when I was a little kid. I was fascinated by this thing. It's on the back of a dollar bill, the great seal of the United States. It's got that pyramid and that mysterious eye, some words written in, in Latin. Um, you're probably carrying around a dollar bill right now, so break it out. It's printed on the back of every one dollar bill. Conspiracy theorists have some, uh, some seriously, have some uh, dark theories about what this seal really means. Mm. Now, the State Department, however, would like to finally set the record straight. Steve Estrada is the director of the U.S. Diplomacy Center at the State Department. And Steve, let's just uh, announce why we're talking about this. This great seal has been around for 225 years. And Condoleezza Rice is the official custodian of the great seal. Is that correct? That's correct, Greg. Uh, Condoleezza Rice is the 66th uh, uh, sec uh, Secretary of State and the 66th uh, custodian of the right. Great Seal, Thomas Jefferson, was the first. Okay, let's break out that, break, that Great Seal and talk about the pyramid. Now, there are a lot of folks out there who think that, um, well, the Masons were involved. Now, we're looking first at the Eagle. He's looking That's in correct. one direction. Tell us why he's looking in that one direction. Uh, well, Greg, the Eagle looks uh, towards the... Uh, olive branch uh, and I think this really signifies that we're a nation first uh, of peace loving nation uh, but of course the 13 arrows uh, on the other talon I think indicates that we'll be willing to uh, uh, defend our liberty at all cost. Okay 13 arrows now I've heard some theorize that 13 you know and all the sinister connotations that 13 has that's not the case it's because there are 13 colonies of of course of course 13 okay. colonies uh, 13 stars uh, and this really does indicate that um, we came together as as a nation uh, e pluribus unum uh, out of many one and of course that's something uh, uh, that remains today we're, we're a nation of many people okay if we can get the picture of the the pyramid with the eye on top. You bet. Uh, uh, let's just talk about this thing. It's kind of a curious design, and a lot of people handle it every day, but they have no idea what it means. It's what does creepy. it mean? Yes. Right. Why is, is he looking at me? I always had that feeling. <laughs> yes. Well, the the eye really uh, signified for for the founding fathers uh, that we were now governed uh, by a uh, a greater, in a sense, a, a greater power than any king, uh, any one ruler. Uh, we we governed as a country, and th and this was overseen really by the the eye of providence. It's the eye of luck, in in, in a sense. It, for the founding fathers, it was the spiritual eye, and this is often uh, referred to as the spiritual side of the Great Seal. Okay, but somewhere in there is a secret map to a treasure that is buried underneath the United States Capitol. Correct, sir. Uh, I would. I'd like to know if, if it if it were because if there were gold at the end, uh, I'd, I'd I'd certainly be the first to get there. <laughs> okay. Well, Steve Estrada, thank you very much. 225 years young, the Great Seal of the United States, and we can check out this exhibition at the State Department. Correct. Correct. Okay. That would go in, sir. Thank, thanks. Thanks, Greg. It's a spiritual guide. I'm still not convinced. The eye. The Masons had something to do with this stuff. <laughs> That's what people think. I'm convinced. Okay, moving on to other news. Uh, John McCain, not uh, resting off of his big win. He's down in Washington, D.C., holding a press availability. I think we're going to get some pictures of it. Well, that's where he's going to be at the National Press Club in moments from now.